Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Ronald W. Satz, founder and chair of the International Society of Unified Science and president of TransPower Corporation, a commercial and custom software manufacturing and certified systems engineering company. I work as a theoretical physicist and as a systems and mechanical engineer. I also work as a theoretical economist and as an operations researcher. My theoretical physics mentor, Dewey B. Larson, was not only a theoretical physicist, he was also a theoretical economist. I've made Dewey B. Larson's work in theoretical physics fully computational, which you know already because you've probably viewed many of my screencasts. I've also made his work in theoretical economics fully computational, and that's what this software package is all about, optimal economist and implementation of Larsonian econophysics. This is a scientific theory of economics. It completely supersedes the nonsense of economic theories out there. Now so far in, in past few screencasts I've covered individuals, individual graphs, and companies. So today we'll look at the graphs for companies and so we're still in microeconomics. You can get there either by the menu here, so we can click here for companies. And uh, here we have uh, a graph. Now, I don't want to do every Tuesday. Let's see what else we got here. Wendy's. Now, let's do Amazon just for the heck of it. By the way, you can also, let me just close here for a second. You could go into the company. And here's Amazon. And then you can click down here. To go into the graphs. All right. Um, well, let's let's quickly go through all these graphs. This won't take too long today. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to bother changing the graph title, but but you would ordinarily. So this one, let's go. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go all the way from the top to the bottom. So this is total revenues. Uh, past and projected. So take a look at this starting from around 1995 and going up to 2020. I have it going down a little bit here. That's a projection. Projections. Now Amazon has been a great momentum play. Early on they weren't making very much of a profit but boy oh boy they've climbed the stock market bubble. It's just a, quite amazing. Um, it's an amazing company, the uh, extremely well managed, super well managed. I honestly, I mean, they saw a lot of my uh, software books and manuals, but of course I buy a tremendous amount from them. So uh, there's, there's a good reason why it's the number one company in the world. Alright, so that's total revenue and past and projected so pretty nice right there uh, let's go net earnings um, this is past and projected so now I gotta go I gotta generate the graph data and then I gotta generate the graph okay so it's really a two-step process and the graph data is automatically pulled in here and of course you can save it to a file if you want to put into another program if you want uh, again you could change the title here uh, I think most of these most if not all the graphs are with the year at the bottom here are the graph commands I do give the uh, graphing manuals included in, in the program but honestly I mean, you could go through here, you could fancy this up as much as you wanted to, but ordinarily it's not necessary. You could save the graph if you wanted to, you know, just change the name there, but that's about it. I wouldn't ordinarily touch that. You don't have to. So you can see, uh, you know, the losses that they've had. All right, so that's net earnings. Uh, let's get a total cost, past and present. So I click on 
generate graph data and click on generate graph. Uh, okay. So it pretty much looks like the revenue <laughs> curve. But anyway, total cost, past and present. All right. And we got employees past and projected. So we click on generate graph data right there. Generate the graph. Now in retrospect, this projection is turned out to be wrong because they're hiring more right now. I heard on the news um, they're hiring 100,000 new employees, so it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, the, the technique we use for projection is called Berg's algorithm. It usually works pretty well, but obviously it's not useful if we're in a pandemic, you know, that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind. It's for ordinary business situations, not black swan events. All right, so it's employees, total revenue per employee. Again, click generate the graph data. Generate the graph. A little bit up and down here. Okay. And by the way, you can scroll down here. You can actually see the data. I mean, you've got the years first because it's by year, and then you know, the rest of the data is, in this case, the number of. Uh, Employees past and projected. Okie doke. Well, let's go to the next one. Net earnings per employee. Again, past and present. Generate the graph data. Generate the graph. So, uh, <laughs> the projection is uh, to be you know, close to zero. So, who knows? All right. Go to the next one. Total cost per employee passed and projected. Generate the graph data. Generate the graph. Again, a little bit of a swing here. Cost will be going up. Berg's algorithm, by the way, is pretty good, but you know, th there's no perfect projection algorithm. My opinion, Berg's algorithm is the best, but obviously, you know, it's, it's not going to—it's not going to work every time for you. So just just to be honest about it. Uh, let's go relative revenue productivity (KR) past and present. So we'll go here. Generate the graph data. Generate the graph. And there's that. So you can see the relative uh, revenue productivity has been increasing overall until we got just recently, according to the projections. Okay, look. I have TCR, TR averages here, and KC averages here. All right. Relative cost productivity, that's KC. Generate the graph data. Generate the graph. And uh, you can see it's right there. Ratio of KR to KC 0.934. Average TC or TCR is 0 0.970. And out to the last one, KR to KC pass and project. So it's pretty close to one. It's interesting. All right, well, we covered all the graphs for the microeconomics of companies today. It's very handy, very easy to use. Uh, let's just go back to, uh, let's close out there, let's just go back to companies. We'll tackle business sectors next week. Again, this is all the data here. It's just nice to see it in graphical terms. So that's nice.
Um, now, you will not find any other software program which will give you KR and KC in the ratio of the two. And then compare that to TC and TR, that's total cost and total revenue. So it's really important. Um, those are the survival limits. All right, well, and uh, let me just point out the cost. Originally, when we priced out the software package, we were going to charge $295. But once the uh, pandemic struck, the country and the world, in fact, went into a depression slash recession. So we drastically reduced the price all the way down to $95. We provide free support by email for the life of the product. So you just, you just pay one time. And you get a tremendous amount of information, microeconomics and macro. Of course, you got to put in quite a bit yourself to get stuff out, but that's to be expected with an economics package. All right, so that wraps it up for today. Please study Larsonian econophysics, prove it for yourself, and thanks for your attention. Close out, and we're done.